Here we go again. As a slave. Don't you just love being a slave? On a Mercury. We should check up on our status. Get some more passive skills. Hey, that strength tablet we picked up earlier in one of our battles. And a few skills here and there. And automatic level ups. Let's go back on that for a second. Ah yes, leveling up your skills. By selecting what category of level up, you can apply it to one of your skills. For example, if I wanted to level up my wild dance, a two-handed sword skill. Wild dance level two. Decreases the amount of stamina required to use it. Actually increases, but it also increases its power. Let's do that a couple times. And I can also do it for my other skills. Like my one sword. For bash, but I actually want to save that for right now. You can get up to level 40 in each of your skills, one hand sword two swords, unarmed, and sword and board. Is that what I should call it? Sword and shield, if you will. Shield bash, that's actually not bad. But for right now, let's get back to the battle. Back to the fun. Actually, not to the battle, because today is a training day, is it not? I should check my schedule. Ah, there it is. Murr. Right below day three, yep. It is a training day. Every other day is a training day. Which is good, because training day is when you get your stats. And that wonderful training music once again. For some reason I can't hit this guard. Ah, there we go. He doesn't mind. He's cool with it. He knows who's really in charge. Now we get to the third and final actual training that gives you stats. Almost there. Exercising with our good old friend, it's you, Mr. Talks a lot. So I can choose one of these four to improve the condition of my body part, in addition to getting skill points for my other five stats: strength, vitality, agility, stamina, and what's that other one? Anyway, push-ups. I'm going normal. The heart is definitely doable, but that would be four timings. So we gotta get three timings with the right button to do my push-ups. That's right. All right. That's right. That's right. All right. Good. That's right. Good. All right. Good. Excellent. That's it. Twelve right. point. And my arm strength increased. That's wonderful. 
meaning if I take I can take more damage in my arms. It's you. I prefer to be able to take more damage in my body, because that's more likely to be fatal if I'm knocked out in the arena. Take your places and follow my lead. That's right. Good. Do any of you do these right. actual training exercises? Right. Or are they slightly right. outdated? Right. They're probably right. slightly outdated. Right. Only by 1800 years. Good. That's it. Hey, I still got 12 points. What's the deal, Magma? Well, an excellent makes up for bad, sort of. If you get 10 goods in a row, that's pretty much the same as getting 10 excellence. Or should I say 20 and 20? Just had to check my recording here real fast. Make sure everything's on the good and good, and I'll get me a meal. Doing well. I'm doing well. Eat. That's a lot of trading points. Thank goodness. But as I pile more points into the stat, the number of training points required will increase. And since I got so beat down so badly, I'll put the rest in vitality. Make myself a tank. The some of my skills are still lower than the limit. The limit will slowly increase, but only to a point. Rest while you can. And since I'm done eating off screen, I sleep, save my game of course, and go into an actual battle day. Probably want to save an a different slot, just in case you change your mind on stuff like stats and such. Nothing new there. And as you noticed, my arm is leveling up. So is my foot. And it's got a plus one because of that tablet I picked up. Oh yeah, Palmas. Number of victories you've had. Get enough of those and you will rank up. No, really, you'll become a respected slave. After a certain event. But meanwhile, it's time to go back to the Atelius Arena. Don't worry, we'll be going to the Colosseum later. That's where the good battles are fought. So let's follow the bandwagon and get on the bandwagon, literally. Gladiators, today the bout is at the Atilius Arena. It's time I pick. You men over there. You always let's get move. chosen. Don't fear death. Well, no, actually, sometimes you do have a choice of whether or not you want there's to go. No justice for the weak. But there's no reason not to go. Because this is how I make my living. Or die. So once again, it's that time to pander to my wonderful, loving audience. Yay, money! Thank you, kind person. I don't know why the money pack doesn't weigh anything. But sticks and stones will break my bones. But getting hurt will cost me money. And 
means he has some great stuff here. Some weird stuff, if you will. We can pick it up. See how it looks on me. But if I leave, he'll call the guards, and I'll get whooped once again. And Akarea, that's wonderful. Oh yeah, that's foot armor. Or lake armor, I should say. And yes, some shields can actually be used pretty effectively as weapons. You can even go to battle with two shields. If you want to, you can weld a helmet, but that'd be silly. So, allow me to check on what I have right now, which is nothing. So, alright, since we're going into the basic battles, we only need the basic equipment. You might want to save your uh, equipment to sell later. So you can buy some real stuff when it pops up. Go with the Gladius myself, because it's a longer range weapon than a Novica. Two Gladius and pick up that helmet. Hey Jesus, what's up? You need to be treated. This is how much it'll cost you, alright? Here, how do you feel? And with the power of Jesus. I'm back to full health, even though I never should have lost any in the first place. Yeah, I could sell the weapons here, but that, that'd only get me about one or two silver. And once again, our lovely choices. Hey, I got an idea. Let's do something really dumb. Let's fight barehanded. Stand by. Hang well, what are you doing? Gladiators! The men who live to fight. The men who sacrifice rest polish their skills. Yeah, yeah, announcer. Yeah. Yeah. Now, while the bear armed is pretty dangerous since you don't have any weapons or shields to protect yourself, you'll be relying on speed. It is the fastest attacking style. But as seen, it is also by far the most dangerous. And usually not recommended, so I might want to pick up a weapon. Although you might want to keep it in reserve in case you want to get a revival of your health. Hey! It's our friend Mr. Silverhair. In one playthrough, he was called Vigo. Hold in the right button, and you can guard. Although guard really doesn't let you do anything interesting. Yeah, so if you're going to play defense, do dodges and rolls. Arm that once again. 
But I'm going back back to my killer skill. Not sure if the guys with actual armor are more protected, but it doesn't seem to do them much good now, does it? Yeah, that's always a fun skill. The fancy two weapons behind the back. And it'll get you some favor with the crowd if you hit. And maybe some adrenaline. Hey, I got skills. Let's wild dance. Hey, that was a nice quick dodge. That's a nice quick level up. I've got another way I had fought in this game before. Is the staggered attack. Attack, wait a second, and attack again. Seems to work pretty well. Hey, passive skill tab. I need to pick that up before my other friend steals it from me. Did I get it? Yeah, I think so. Oh, did you see that? He has stats. That means he has a magical weapon on. Or maybe a piece of armor. And plus 25 is a big bonus, so I want to be careful. Pick up a good weapon. Usually the last guys on these sets will have a special weapon or armor. That you gotta be careful of. Yes, he has, also has a spear. A spear is a nasty long distance weapon, as you figure. But also pretty heavy. But with the shit uh, strength he has, he has no problem wielding it. Oop, gotta protect that head. And as suspected, yes, my body is hurting. My body can't take it. Oops. Gotta be more careful with that shield bash once I have the stamina for it. Shield bash. Hey, it knocked you them to the side. That's a nice tactic. Oh yeah, you can roll while you're on the floor. It's probably a good idea to do that. See if I can catch him off guard again. So I can do some actual damage. And not flash. Might have to use Mr. Spikey to help me out here. Hey, Mr. Spikey, are you going to help me out today? Thank you, Mr. Spikey. And that is a good weapon. A Carthinian spear. I'm a little bloody, though. And I'll also take that wonderful, well, pretty good helmet there. And well, we're in good shape. We, as in, I mean, everybody except me. Oh, a bloody mess. Jesus, can you help me out? You need 
to be treated. This is how much it'll cost you, all right? <laughs> Almost all of my money. Nope. Well, don't push yourself. I'll take the risk today. Also, over my, my charge test. Ooh, Hercules favor. I'll be, uh, storing that. Thank you very much. Along with the helmet. Just in case I get... Well, you know. Turned into Swiss cheese. Indeed. So, do you like watching the battles? Or do you prefer me going to the newer stuff? Well, in the next video, I'll be doing more battles. Battles, battles, and nothing but battles. And battles.